Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be using InVideo to create some wedding invitations. Yes, this is something that's not really marketing related. However, it is a great way to kind of showcase more templates and demos of this software. And plus it kind of hits home to me. Unfortunately, I already sent out my wedding invites a few months ago. And for us, it was personally a mess. I think I would have preferred video if I knew about that at the time. Either way, here's how you can create a wedding invite video. If you want to check out InVideo, I will put a link in the description. They do come with a free plan. So as you can see up top, if you type in wedding, there's going to be a lot of different templates. They don't just have things for actual uh, invites. They do have things like albums, which I'm going to look forward to. I really, once we get our wedding photos in, in a few months, that would be cool to do. Uh, posters, uh, other things, invites is going to be the popular ones, promos, and so on and so forth. But let's just actually put an invite here, or type in IN. There we go. Wedding invitation video. So something simple, let's just say I wanted to do landscape. I like that it's kind of like the YouTube view as opposed to the YouTube short where say it's gonna be like a vertical, uh, but more specifically, save the date. This one looks good, I like something like that. Uh, this has some rings there. April Fool, wedding invite. I'm not gonna go with that one because it has different people in it. So I like the simple one, let's go with this. And use template. All right, so just so you know, uh, I've been using a new computer, just getting used to it, so I can hear the sounds in the background when I play it, but you can't, so what I'm gonna do is scroll through just to, you know, you won't be able to hear it anyway, so save the date. Uh, John and Jane, you were invited to our wedding on the 20th of March, and what else I got, RSVP here. All right, cool. And usually you want to, I guess it's invitations are different. I'm just going to give you a funny quick story. What we did is we sent out our invitations and then we put like, um, you know, how are you going? Yes or no. And how many people are you bringing? And the wording was really bad. And first and foremost, we didn't put a section where they can leave their name. So people who didn't put a return address, there's absolutely nothing on it to give away who was going or who wasn't going. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind that you could probably put on here as well, because uh, at the end of it, we just had to like follow up with a few people who haven't gotten back to us and be like, did you ever get the invite back? Because there's no name on it. But anyway, uh, just kind of giving you my experience. Let's look at this. Save the date, John and Jane. So what we can do is change this around and we can do edit. Once again, this is the beauty of templates is that, you know, when you have the background, you like, obviously you can change that around too. It's just going to make your life much easier. Let's put Andrea. Okay, we're gonna have to slide that over. Whoop. And like that. And move it down a little, because I think I moved that down. So this, perfect. And this could be a little bit more there. And I can move all this over as well. On the 20th of March, uh, did they do that in reverse or is that different? Anyway. Okay, so I changed that around, saved the date, James and Andrea, you were invited to our wedding on November 4th, 2022. Logo, we don't need a logo here. We can delete that from all scenes. So that's gonna be the first part. As you see, there's like some animation to it as it, as it comes in, which is pretty cool. And the next one is going to be RSVP here. Okay, so uh, I don't really need to edit these around. Uh, once again, let's just say if there was an Instagram for this, you know, you could just put, Okay, so your Instagram's gonna go there and RSVP here. So uh, what you can do is your number there uh, if you wanna put your email or just give them one or, you know, it's it's really gonna be up to you. I'm kind of thinking from a marketing standpoint, if you give someone too many options to choose from, they might get confused. But on the same hand, if you give them a few, you'll probably allow them to choose the one they wanna use the best. So they could text you, they can call you, or they can send you an email. And of course, I don't think you really need an address there unless that's, you know, 100% needed. Uh, but all in all, let me just change this around real quick. Okay, then we have RSVP here, random phone number, random email. We're gonna be in Florida, and of course, you can have an Instagram there. That'll be a good thing to put, say, if you're gonna be uploading your photos on social media. I know a lot of people like doing that, but all in all, what I can do is just kind of go back real quickly. And obviously, once you save this, you know, you can export, save it as uh, 1080. Uh, one sec. You'll want to do that, obviously, if you had the uh, the premium plan where you can get the 1080, the better quality. And then, of course, you can upload it to YouTube and then just simply send someone the link. Um, you can, 
you know, do it anywhere. You can embed it on a website where if you want to create like a custom domain, like jamesandandrea.com, and then you have that video there. And then maybe what you can do is just do like a Google form. That's just another way to really increase the uh, convert. Once again, I'm talking like a marketer and I'm doing wedding invites. I'm like, let's increase the uh, conversions of people actually looking at it and responding to us. It's funny I say that because like still we're getting close to where like we need to know our final number and there's still a bunch of people, not a lot of them, but a good amount who haven't gotten back to us yet. So, and I've noticed that as well. I've gotten wedding invites and I was, there's times where I wasn't as super hasty to get them back to people. So I completely understand, but uh, let's take a look at it. And I just removed the music because once again, I don't think you can hear it simply because uh, like my, I had to fix my mic a little bit more and I didn't go too deep into it, but you were invited to our wedding on November 4th, 2022, saving the date. And of course, RSVP here. That's the name, the email, the Florida. And of course, if you really want to change that around, like I said, you know, just have a Google, um, it's not Google, I'm thinking of Google Drive, but you can like fill out surveys like where, what's your name? Are you going to be able to make it? And are you bringing a plus one? And if you're doing like types of dinner, you know, what are you gonna have? Steak, chicken, fish, you're gonna go vegan, whatever it's going to be. But I think that pretty much concludes the ability to make a wedding invitation with InVideo. Once again, the templates are really gonna rock here. Pick one that you really like. You can change around the flowers in the background and of course the music and so on and so forth. But once you have that, a lot of the transitions are already dialed in for you where you just need to edit out some of the information and you can go from there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, InVideo does come with a free plan so you can at least test them out. That link will be in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.